Hello there everyone and welcome back to Castle Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mongolian Level, but right now we're doing new arms testing. Our rifles have served us well, but it's been decades since we've upgraded them. Perhaps we should study new Russian rifle designs and see if we can improve on what we have? That'd be a good idea. Now, like I said at the end of this last episode, I did go through all of these already. We've got a little bit better of an industrial base. We've got 2.4 million manpower. And we're no longer at war with Shang-Chi because I eventually just brute forced it as hard as I could. And we're actually at war with someone else in 1940, but modern methods of arms production. Having the knowledge to produce modern arms is one thing, but building it efficiently is another. With a small number of factories, it is even more important that every bit of productivity be squeezed out of our arms industry. And then support our army. While rifles are all well and good in border skirmishes and convoy raiding, the protracted and extensive warfare happening on the steppes will require massive and sustained long-range firepower. But as you can see, we are now at war with the Qing Chinese. Yeah, Shang-Chi was a pain in the butt, and I apologize for being like Reiji in the last episode. It It is what it is. And as you guys said in the comments below, using 40 combo with, uh, divisions, not even just cavalry, just divisions, is probably a bad idea. So, yeah, that's my fault. I apologize. It just, I got so frustrated with it. I'm just like, why? Why would it be this bad? Because we're using 40 combo with divisions. Even though Tibet was literally no problem. Like, it was weird. Tibet's no problem, but Shang-Chi is. I guess there's deserts up here. It's not mountains, but, hmm. Strange, but yeah, there are some mountains in the desert too, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And, of course, these guys, the Qing Imperial Authority, you know, we've killed off. Only 9,000 of them. The Chinese are really good at killing each other off. But, uh, yeah, we're doing okay. And I did delete some divisions so we, we could get some more strength back. We're trying to get some more now. Um, let's see. We have the Moscow Accords. Uh, the Reichspact is still standing tall for now, but we'll see how long it lasts. We have the Entente. They're international. Everyone's literally killing each other. I think the Entente and the Reichspact are actually working together. Together? And America is just, it's its just a mess. The car's already dead, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. Artillery upgrade would be very nice for the cavalry. Thank you very much. Get some more research speed. Uh, we would like to go nuclear eventually as well. But then again, I do want to get some planes too, because that'd be very good. The Entente, Kingdom of Canada, so, hello. Argentina, hello. So, yeah, we're kind of stuck doing the war against the Chinese. We're slowly going to be pushing in, hopefully. Like, incredibly slowly. But, we're going to take a good amount from them. Because right now, like, with that plus 15% coring stuff, that's really strong. Like, that's really, really strong. So right now, like, pretty much all of Tibetan lands are cored. Or at least 100% compliance. That's really where that Askai Chin is cored, but whatever. Um, yeah, 64% is not bad. That's really not bad. So hopefully, if these guys ever attack us, we can, we can go back and repel them sometime. But yeah. Continue army reform. We could do that, but we have so much army XP. We don't really need to. I did go up to extensive conscription because we could. Uh, we're not lacking anything except like one rubber, so we're we're basically doing okay. One v one, you should be able to deal with these, with these guys. But three v one, you should do really well. <coughs> so it's going to be a little slow fighting through China, especially since we saw last episode. But still, oh, there's a U UBD, which kind of sucks. I really hope that the Russian or Moscow Accord does not join. Um. Those guys. Just not join the Entente. If they do, we're kind of screwed, but we'll see what happens. Because I really would like to recreate the Mongolian Empire, so we'll see. We're doing well over here, and we're still using these 40 combats for now. We did throw logistic companies on them. We do have artillery. We do have some engineers. I would maybe like to get some anti-air eventually? Huh. We actually have a surplus of motorized, which is a little surprising, but not bad. Yeah, as long as we're not finding mountains, we're, we'll do okay. So, hills, not great, but... Horse on horse action, which sounds really, well, some might say degenerate, but whatever. It is what it is. We can take as much as we possibly can and just make more divisions, so that'll be quite bueno. Yeah. Ooh, Kampf Krupa. We could get more manpower, but I'm thinking modern Blitzkrieg is probably, at least role-playing wise, the way to go. And then, eh, well, it doesn't really help us that much. This one gives more organization for our... Cavalry, so we kind of have to do that one. Thank you. Come again. Now, I definitely want to attack here immediately just so that we can get this province so we can get some more factories, hopefully. Like at least one more restoration of the Rashidi em Emirate, not Empire, but Emirate. All right, cool. Good luck, guys. And help them out as well because you can. Yeah, these Chinese divisions not as good as us, but then again, our guys are afford literally for a combo with, so what do we expect? Well, we expect to do well. And I'm almost with the next focus, which is awesome. Now, these guys are, have mountaineers in here, but what if we slip into here? Would that be possible? We don't have a lot of divisions, but, you know, it'll have to be what it'll have to be. And we have, we can get better guns, but we're out. Uh, 13,000, but we're making 120 every single day, which is really nice. Support our army, though. 
And now we've got a little bit more attack as well, which is super good. Logistic, uh, uh, logistics Initiative. Having huge stockpiles of weapons and machinery means nothing if they can't get our men on the front lines. This plan would hopefully put us in a position where, at the very least, supplies will get to our men fast. Yes. We will probably do the Chinese, uh, chi not Chinese, but the Japanese as well, eventually. Not bad. I do want to do an encirclement here, but I'm not sure if we have the numbers for it, realistically. Are you guys... No. You guys can go here. Which might be possible if you do this. You might be able to win. Maybe not. I kind of doubt you would. Mm. Let me go in there. This, this dog gets taken out. You know, whatever. Oh. The Feng Shin government's going to war as well. Look at that. I want to get Berlin. I want Berlin for us. Berlin needs to go to us. If we go in here... You know what? Short up the line a little bit more. We should have enough strength to do that, right? And having five booster slots, I'll be honest, is so nice. Some more soft attack as well. Good, good, good. I do not envy these guys, even though we're probably going to end up fighting a lot of these other Asian Chinese guys. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, they want to get some of stuff? Heck yeah. We love the Chinese, especially when the Chinese kill the Chinese off. Yeah, but this one's good to do next, because that supply consumption is really bad for us right now. Nice. Uh, instead of doing that, what have you guys held? Oh, you're going to attack here, too. They actually left the area. Okay. Interesting. God, I want Beijing. <coughs> um, you guys could honestly probably go into there. Oh, you can't help the attack, too. Nice. Uh, sh sure. Oh, Poland actually doing the next pact. After this, I might just go to War Sejuan, maybe? I mean, we can always do this as well. I mean, just because we have so much political power. We should do okay against them, right? Right. Anywhere else we can attack them? Maybe here-ish? Maybe? Just to weaken them, get more army XP, get some more experience for our generals. Alright, so we're winning up here. We're winning in both areas, it looks like, for the most part. Yep, we definitely are. Awesome. What is this? Shandong Creek. Nah. Well, yeah, technically, yeah, we don't want to do that, but... Still. Still. Alright, go into. Horse hunt. Horse action. There you go. Baoding. 94% <coughs> is not too bad, either. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nice. Right, so we go to here next. I'll cut them all off down south. Uh, or go here next. Eh, we'll see. Doesn't really matter to me too much. Uh, we could use more divisions up here, though. To be honest. Yeah. You're just helping you attack right now. You're not actually gonna move there, so. Ah, they pooped out another militia, huh? As is probably appropriate for them. Fighter ones are nice. Get some fighter twos immediately. We're just going to need to build a massive base. Just a massive industrial base. We're still trying to make some more millies, so... Don't really want to lower that one. We're doing well here. Doing okay here. Get some more artillery. Alright, Central America is... I guess formed? If we were to take this tile, that would be really bad for them. So we're probably going to do that. But, what if we did this? You guys go in. Let them get worried about the bottleneck here. I do want to push in if possible here, but there's really no good place to do so. Try that. Now we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. Oh, we must have deployed two more. Yep, we did deploy two more divisions. Nice. Can you guys actually hold them in place for now? Nice. Good, good, good. Go on in if you can. Beijing has been completely cut off from the rest of the country. Right? At least they should be, yeah. There's a broken line there. Support our army. Logistics initiative. Oh, okay. Costa Rica and them, huh? Alright. Beijing will be ours. I'll conscript the tribesmen. I want to wait we, before we hear stability. Recruit the Ungan's God. Primitive Ungan's God. Huh. Offer him the guard. An army of professionals. That's not bad. I like the organization. Recover it. Motorize them. Well, you guys said we should go completely this side. So, recruit Ungan's God. Uh, Baron of the Steps would be nice to get as well. Even more recruitable population factor, but even more research slots would be good. Recruit the guard. Ungan von Roman Steinbeck is leading Mongolia out of the darkness of mediocrity and subjugation into an era of greatness, and it's only fitting we outfit a guard worthy of his power and prestige. Let's combine the best cavalry men of our nation into a co cohort that Ungan von Roman Steinbeck can be proud of. 
Absolutely. Nice. Where's the capital now? Well, let's see if we can just go on in. It's probably going to be a really bad idea doing this, but whatever. Uh, if you guys go here, we'll be at least support the attack. There you go. Ah, Jian. Nice. So up here, we're going to take a little as much as we possibly can. Well, Jing Chan's going to die. They're going to take out uh, the Bhutan. Bhutan. Oh, that's so much green. This is so much more green than we saw in the last episode. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, sometimes, I swear, the dads of the AI just don't like us very much. But that's all right. Things happen. Things happen. Uh, dudes. There you go. Very good. Head into here as well. Nice. <sighs> Taking out China one bit at a time. Hopefully we get some guns from these guys too. That's what I really want as well. Lots and lots of guns. Of course it doesn't help that we're just constantly attacking, so. But then again, when I mean, we were level he's skill level eight attack. Level six attack. Level okay, two attack. That's not very good, is it? No, it does not. That's alright. Nice. Keep him in place. Ah, Zheng Zhu. Zheng Zhu. I don't know anything about this stuff up here. Not to the Yuan. A new mandate, maybe? We don't have any conference, because then again, we didn't do a lot of stuff over here yet, so. Losses, 13,000 versus... Well, we've killed off 142,000. That's not bad. 13,000 versus 142,000. I'm saying that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. I'll try to split this up slightly correctly, like, as in, like, how much material material game we'll get actually, but we'll see. Hey, we got some guns. Thank God. It'd be unfair if I took everything. So, um, you guys did like nothing, so you're not gonna get anything. Sorry, guys. Eh, I'll give them some steel. You know what? We'll give them this. You can have this. Hopefully, they don't want to kill us after this, because if they do, well, I'm gonna use Khan's commands, and you can have Wuhan. It sounds very buggy. Um, do that first. Shijuan. I do that too. And try not to look. You, get, you guys are gonna have a bigger border. This is not exactly fair, but I don't really care. We made it and turned into a three-way war, so. Can I just kill these guys off? Our enemies are ready for war. Oh crap. According to our spies on Leonin. Uh the Fengji government is preparing to declare war on us soon. The fight will be won for survival. Oh crap. Well, my bad. What is over here? The fate of China. Every throne needs its emperor. With the conquest of the Middle Kingdom proving complete and victorious, we must not choose what to do with these lands. To control this vast swath of a territory ourselves would likely prove disastrous to our regime and the rule of Genghis II. The China needs a monarch to serve as the unifying figure in these uncertain times, for only someone ordained by the heavens can above can help to rule this famously unstable and unruly swath of land. It was our conquest, it was our war war, one right for us alone to sit upon the dragon throne. The Qing administration shall make the subjects, fine subjects. The Yiguan Dao shall take control of the Manchus for us. Only a new dynasty is worthy of being chosen to lead the Middle Kingdom. Yeah. Any other option would be a waste. How strong is the Fengxing government? Now, they attack us. Their independence guaranteed by the Shandong clique. They go to war with us. They have... Quite a few divisions compared to us, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. We can five divisions at a time. We actually have more than enough. Ooh, we have a lot of already now. That's actually really good to see. Um, Anti-tank. Close cast. I'd love to get some cast. Some actual cast. So now we can upgrade you guys. Thank you very much. I don't want to lower this too much, but keep that. Keep that for now. Start making some tanks, maybe. Tanks are not bad to get. You know what? Screw it. Get some radar. Or not radar, but nukes. Logistics initiative, thank you very much. All I can say is at least we got war goals on pretty much all of China. And how long will it take for us to go to war with you guys? Shouldn't be too long, right? Alright, so if that's the case, I don't think we need that many guys, so you guys head down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Bhutan would be nice. Good. 
Grab some of those too. Good, good, good. Logistics initiative. Oh, Mount of Leon. Conference decided the Khanate will rule China. Okay. So if you're worried about that, please go right ahead. Sponsor the claims. Backing claims over China's change versus support. All right. Ensuring candidate, of course. All right. And then, of course, there's a new mandate. A Chinese China? Not this time. We want to go with Rukut Ungern's Guard. Followed up with... Look at this stuff. What does this one do? Mount of Leon. Maintain direct rule over China, holding the mandate with all the benefits and detriments that brings. Deal with any warlord standing in the way to conquer the rest of China. I kind of want to do that. We will claim the mandate of heaven for ourselves, proclaiming ourselves the revival of the Yuan Dynasty, established under Kublai Khan. Which I've heard of before. That's cool. Nice. Oh, we're still doing this stuff? Oh, hello. Alright, so that's dumb. Where was the war justification? Why do they not have a war justification? Can we just run into them? We might be able to. We might not. We'll see. Well, the number is slowly going up, so... I'll just send them all in. That's dumb. But they did go to war with us, so we are in a defense here. Nice. Total... Oh, I kind of want to go total mobilization. You know what? We need it. We need it. We're going to go that way. We're going to actually demobilize maybe a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, so we can build more cities. Build more cities. We get some more millies. Get, some, get all that good stuff. Where... Guys, I, I'm going to recommend y'all move in a little faster than this. I mean, encircling is probably the, for the best, so... Fire brigades, nice. Grab some of that. Backhand blows. And when it does, she blows. Well, we're doing well so far. This is doing a lot better than I thought we would. War propaganda, we could. Continue army reforms. Um, yeah, we'll do it anyways, why not? We can try it. We got more than enough army XP right now, right? Right. Yeah, it's going a lot better than I thought it would, I'll be honest. Um, we're not infantry, so I'll go amateur, because that'll give us more entrenchment for cavalry, pro hopefully, probably, should. We're doing a lot better than I thought it would. 100,000 Chinese have died already. I'll be honest, man. Like, like I said earlier, this is going so much better than the last episode of, like, Shenyang. Nice. We have two things of that. Oh, now we can go to War of Bhutan. You couldn't let me go to War of Bhutan earlier, huh? Huh, Manchuria? Huh? Son of a... Rockefeller? Wait, why can't we justify again? Ne oh, Nepal's... Yeah, let's not go to War of Nepal. Um, really? It's either Russia? Oh, well... Uh, you're actually not looking too much worse than you were earlier, Germany, so that's good for you all, but still. Oh, Spain's still killing itself, but what else is new? Oh. Bye, German Asia. Asia region. Not bad. Four, oh my gosh, four million manpower. If you're wondering about our darkest hour, found days of Europe, please go ahead. That's a nice picture. I wonder if that's a dam of some place. Huh. Now, if we take these guys out, does that doesn't mean Japan's going to try to fight us too? God, that's going to suck. That really suck. Well, we do have 59 factories now. That's not too bad. Really, our end goal is going to fight Russia, probably, and take out other states. So, that's probably going to really suck really badly. But we'll see. I'm going to probably have to play a lot of this off screen. Because it's going to suck. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Bro. Bro, no. I'm glad we don't own a lot of the coast. We got to go in faster, boys. We got to go in faster. Second Sino-Japanese... What? 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 What do you mean you go... What? Well, y'all better hurry the heck up, because they're going to start naval invading very soon, so. Oh, we'd get Korea. What happens if we get Korea? Nice, more divisions, just in case. Um, I'm going to actually throw another guy over here, just in case, too. There you go. Good luck, guys. We're going to need it. You know, I had to say that we're doing well. Boris Rezukin? Nice. Deploy him early, just in case. It's fine. These guys will be strong enough, hopefully. Oh, my goodness. They went to war with us. Why are they going to war with us? Why? Finish the recruitment of Ungan's God. Let's double the size of a great Khan's lower bodyguard and raiding force. Another two cohorts of elite cavalry shall be raised in his honor to help him terrorize his enemies. Oh, look at the Khan bodyguards. They're only... Oh, my God. They're not good enough. There you go. I'll go there, actually. Are we actually all linked up yet? We, we really need to link up. We need to hurry up here. I just want to go to Ward Nepal. 
or no, Bhutan, or whatever Asian state that is. That's all I wanted, man. That's literally all I wanted. And y'all had to louse it up, didn't y'all? Keep him in place. Yeah, it's not going to go great for us now, is it? Well, if they're going to go to war with us, they should go to war with other Asian states, right? Yeah, I think they would. Fighter 2 is nice. Great. Uh, radar? Sure, why not? We're doing pretty well. Honestly, it's going so much better than the last episode. Holy crap. I apologize for last episode, man. I really do. Get rid of these guys first, and then uh, they'll make one big old front line. I just want to kill these guys off, please. Please. Mm, it is 1940. It's a little bit ahead of time, but logistics would be pretty good and useful as well. Why not? 20,000. The Fangshin government's almost dead. We killed off 14,000 of them so far, which is not bad, considering everything else. You're going to have to force the attack. Force it through. Force it, force it, force it, force it. You're going to be learning a lot. This is weird. Nice. Keep going in. Y'all doing okay? Okay, now we've definitely cut them off. Look at those ten divisions. Japan, you have decided to be a dingo dongo, dingo wingo wongo. Hey, Boris, thanks for learning. Thanks for learning. Become an ambusher just in case. Well, when we have enough command power, I guess. We only get 0.9 every day, which sucks, but whatever. <sighs> that's what you get, Japan. Oh, 100. We lost 50,000. Holy crap, that's insane. But 150,000 are dead from on their side, which is awesome. So now, let's stop just railing into the enemies. And we're going to have to call these guys back eventually, so I'll hold. Frontline. Why do we have to, Seriously, why do we have to deal with them? Why don't they attack the uh, Shandong Creek? Okay, they're attacking the Dutch East Indies, which is nice. Siam is looking like a thick child. Uh, not child. Uh, thick nation. Um, yeah, definitely not a thick child, please. There goes Denmark. Uh, can you guys actually win here? Probably n Oh, no, they just win more divisions. And they probably honestly have air superiority. So that's stupid, but whatever. Oh, there goes DC. Please hold on for now, everybody. Just hold on to your butts. Please, for the love of God, hold on to your butts. Help from the guard. Look like at Baron's guard already received the best training in the top of the line equipment with much marks him out as the elite of our army. Consequently, some of high command suggests that we cement this role by giving them the role of officers in a grand army. Absolutely, guys. If you want to give us more guns, we will gladly take them. Wow, we're out 16,000. That sucks. Lower by two, then. Now 13,000. We still have plenty of artillery, though. Support equipment's okay. We have actually 800 light tanks. Go figure, huh? I hope we're doing a lot of damage to them, because they deserve to just lose. They really do. We're slowly getting pushed back, which sucks. Alright, you son of a rattlesnake. There are some areas here that we could really push in and do well. Like right there is really good. Cut them off. If you can get if you can just cut them off, that's all that matters. Good. It's fine too. I really don't want to fight them, so. If you go there, you can literally cut them all off. All these Japanese divisions up here. Oh, that'd be so good. That'd be so good. Go, 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 Yes, yes. All you gotta do is hold the line for the most part right now. Hold the line. Hold the Japanese line. Oh, good God. We're gonna need more infantry commit. Oh, see, now, I hate this so much. Why? Why do you have to be such buggers to us? Hmm, Jad Lama. That's why we got him. Uh, cavalry dude. There you go. You are going to starve, and you're going to like it. More cons bodyguards? Oh, God, they're only 18 cons. That sucks. Well, you're going to have to hold out here. Do the best you can. You are going to starve, and you are going to like it, you son of a rock sucker. Um, That's fine. Wait. They landed, but they left. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of okay with that then. If they, if they leave, totally okay with that. Close air support too, nice. So if we push them out of Korea, do we do we do we get all of Korea too? These guys are not looking very good. Of course, it is attrition. Um, 
They still have Ah Bin, which is not good for us, but still. I would like to do a general attack, but they really should not be getting supplies. At least the Japanese divisions. Yeah, they're slowly losing strength, which is good to see, but still. Go figure. We actually have air spirit. Not air spirit, but we actually have planes. Ah, we have cavalry, and we have planes. What could be better than this? Getting some casts! Exactly, that's exactly my intentions. And we're probably gonna lose all our planes doing this, but whatever. It is what it is. Do they leave? They must have left. Bro. Like, this is a guard that'll, like, just hold on. Uh, look at that. There you go. But for, in the meantime, I want you to help us take out all of the, this area. Hop in. And then you'll come back over here when needed, so. Supplies gotta be really bad around here. <clears throat> Vladivostok would be great to grab. Oh, are you starving? Well, you should be. I do just want to do a general attack. Good god, I want to do a general attack. Good god, we're gonna do a general attack. Let's go! I don't think we'll do very well up here, but whatever. Like, even in Korea right now. Why is it... Alright, so they're gonna naval invade us again. Whatever, I don't really care. Okay. Sure, why not? We'll help ourselves out too. Why not? And they're probably enabling. We took Haizhou. Was that supposed to be Pyongyang? Sure, guys, we'll take some stuff. We need 23,000 rifles. Jesus Christ. Spare our soul. Oh, they even have tanks in here. That's so sad. 38 divisions. They have, like, no manpower. That's great. Shan oh, thank God they went to kill each other, not us. But an army of professionals. He we here. I'm slightly a professional. Slightly. The treating that Ungan Stambug's gods have put the regular troops through has made them into great soldiers, having completed this task. The guards can also be assigned as officers of our army, keeping unit cohesion and discipline, and inspiring the rank-and-file soldier to fight even harder. I was really thinking we'd be doing a lot better up here compared to down here, but look, some of these guys are literally doing force defense. Like, that is beautiful. They do have an intel advantage, which is interesting to see, but still. Better radar. You know, I'm getting better radar, but we're not even using better radar, so, which is, huh. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys it goes well. Then again, you have, like, no orders up here, so. Three, two, one, let's... Let's grow! I know this is, this is a terrible way to do it. We lost 100,000, but... Realistically, if we killed off 400,000 Japanese, I mean... We literally have taken all of Busan. Or almost Busan yet. Almost. I love that Japan just keeps going to war with more people. So good. Yeah, well. Wanted to do an encirclement there, but whatever. Still. So, five million manpower still. So. Come on. They literally can't keep it up. If they're completely surrounded... Help from the guard. And then an army of professionals. And then support research institutes. Modern Mongolia is not well known for its military innovation. By investing in our inner war booty into a sustainable system of institutes, we will be able to ensure that our forces are kept abreast of the latest developments in scientific research from across the globe. We won. Alright, so we beat both these guys. Do we literally just win win? Look how many. Oh, we got 17 Japanese divisions down here, including an entire thing of tanks. Oh, that's so nice. Now, they're probably going to be invading Korea again, but I don't really care. I do not really care, I'll be honest. We've also a ton of guys, but Feng Shin, please just give up. Especially as we've got more of that stuff, too. Do we not have... Yeah, let's throw on some anti-air. We, we definitely need it. We definitely need more guns, too. But go, like, two. Um, 60% is not bad. I do that, too. We're actually losing fuel. Look at that. Oh, these guys are cut off. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven divisions are all encircled. As they should be. I'm gonna naval invade again, probably. This is a brutal fighting man. But Jai Lama? I hate that he's an old guard, but whatever. Actually, what do you have down here? Artillery specialist would be nice. But he's just so good on attack. Five attack is pretty decent. What do we have? The Fading Sun. Oh, South Korea. Oh, so we get that if they don't do this. We've succeeded pushing Japan out, out of... 
out of much of the mainland. Well, they no doubt will try to counterattack. This is a major blow to them. If they don't retake their land soon, the mounting political pressure will force them to ask for terms. Nice. Keep up the attacks. Iron supplies really sucks by here, but whatever. Hob in. Oh, look at the Western Command Center. Goodbye. And we've got them. That should be it, right? Oh, we got them! Oh, we got a lot of rifles now. Not saying they're good at all, but oh, whatever. Hello there! Oh, Japan, you're just like Germany. You try to overextend yourself a little, wee bit too much. 14, 15, 6, 17, 18 divisions. There's 18 divisions here to begin. Well, we won. How did we win like that? Bro. So join the line. And right, all of you guys are literally just going to be doing, like, Coast Guard stuff. Until, like, we can go back to war with, like, yeah, Paul or something. There you go, nice. And the second center... Whoa. Do VPs as well. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright, so can we go and just, just find them? I just, I just... No, no, get out of this. Thank you. His map modes are weird, but they're absolutely necessary. Uh-oh. Don't let him in! Don't let him in! I said don't let him in! I guess that's not Korea, so... It's kind of okay. Not today, you son of a rock sucker. 40 combat with cavalry. They're trying to reinvade. They're not gonna make it. Oh, they didn't make it. Beautiful. Oh, don't tell me this is glitch. Well, we killed at least half a million of them off, so... This has been pretty good. This is pretty good. This oh 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 that's actual stars. Experienced soldiers lost. There's more division organization. Okay. Well, I'm gonna assume that we still have it. Maybe I don't. It's, we shouldn't have that, but whatever. We're doing well. Why do we have a chief of the navy? Why does Mongolia not have a strong navy? Well, don't answer that. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, never mind. All right, army professionals is almost over. Literally a week left. 90% stability, more logistics. Awesome, awesome. We just throw on light tanks for our cavalry divisions. Can you actually do this one? That might work. Let's try that one. Why not? We obviously don't have 55, but... But you know what I'm looking at right now? We do have one air XP. I'm going to say that's... Relatively impressive that we actually have one air XP. There's a bunch of horse people, cavalry people. Nice. <clears throat> so we could go with Turkestan. Actually, how, what was the war in Asia looking like? Okay, so here's the goal. How are you holding out so Germany? Whatever. Um, as much as I want to attack them now, I think it's probably best if we take out all of China first. They still have a ton of divisions. Attacking China, while they're still divided, would be very good for us. And allow us to conquer more territory first. Get more of an industrial base. Because we have now 76 factories. We started with like with uh, 39, I think, earlier. But the mantle of the Yuan. We will claim the mandate of heaven for ourselves. Proclaiming ourselves the revival of the Yuan dynasty established under Kublai Khan. Which I think I read red, so my bad, but whatever. Okay, about a week left. We're about a week left. I want to train these guys, but oh well. Nice. Leonid... Sepailov. Pretty good. Keep making them thingies. Keep making, 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 making. Armor cars. I used to make those quite a bit more. Uh, light tank's not bad. Sport cast. Nice, but radar's good. 41. Happy 41. Let's get some more output because we could always use more output. You guys are. Oh, we actually. Hmm. Nice. And. Zero days love, the fading sun. After the utter defeat of the Imperial Japanese Army, our forces control huge swaths of land in Manchuria and Korea. Well, the Imperial Japanese Navy are reduced to attempting mirror blockades. Our spies in Tokyo report severe dis descent and war readiness. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, among the populace. In light of this, the government has called a two-week conference of Port Arthur to determine our war aims. We'll accept their terms, let them keep their political islands. We'll push toward a victory. Prevent peace for all those at war with Japan, not just us. That'd be kind of fun to do. We'll probably accept their terms. Two weeks for the deal to be finalized. All those at war with Japan want to accept the deal to go through. Mm, it's probably fine with us. There you go. The two-week conference in Darien has ended with agreement. The terms of Japan offer were accepted and the peace has been achieved. We've gained much and this is nothing less than a great victory. We fought well and deserve nothing less. Uh, Empire of Japan still, but... Million manpower. Yasuhito... Uh, he kind of failed, man. I'll be honest. He kind of failed. 
Cutting cost procedures. That kind of sucks. Fruits of the open door. Head of intelligence. Imperial conscription. Poor land use. Yeah, this thing's pretty normal. Um, that's it. To project. All right. Well, pretty good. So let's have to see the peace conference first. And we did really well with this stuff. So yeah, not bad. We're still at war with them, but whatever. Uh, get a thing of rubber. Just one though. Keep building up for now. Uh, as much as I love infrastructure, and it gives us more resources as well. Build up more cities. We just want a massive industrial base. Uh, it sucks that this doesn't give us that much industry, but getting more of China will give us just so much manpower. It's ridiculous. Recruitable population. Every monthly growth in every state. 570,000. Well, civilians minus 350,000. Holy crap. Something doesn't make sense there. Standbags, man, even mole speed. If the horses aren't fast enough, we don't want them. Oh, you guys are killing each other down here. Oh, we're still worth Hanoi. Why are we still war these guys? Arotomo Oeda. You seem like you've seen some serious stuff, man. I don't know if this, this nation even existed. Alright. So, when does that peace conference fire? God, it's getting starting to get really laggy, which is something I hate in Kaiser Redux. So bad. Actually, Oslo, who's in. They're in international. Oh, you're together, okay. And they're still doing relatively okay, but Russia is slowly pushing into these guys. And again, the United Casa Coast has not died yet. Uh, these guys have, have Bulgaria with them, even though Albania and Greece is in the... Huh. Don't aid your wound. Consumer goods, that's not too bad. And let's go to the Mantle of Yuan. Yes, please. Six research slot. Very nice. Some more construction speed, too. Casually having six million manpower already. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Mantle of Yuan. I'll claim Macau would be cool. Claim the German colonies would be nice. Destroy the legation cities would be awesome. Destroy the eastern borders. Bolivia, well, good luck. Um, I guess we could probably do some roads, maybe? Develop the Tuvan region would be good to do. Um, planes would be nice, but this one seems very lacking. So we'll probably not do anything there. I do want to go down here eventually as well. Bear another steps to get more uh, cavalry stuff. The Encore map is pretty good as well, even though you lose the more stability, which is fine. So I think up next, we're going to go ahead and do... More resources would be nice. We get some more fuel as well. Develop Chinese industries. we got to wait for that, actually. Support a new mandate, Manchurian candidate. Oh, we did Mantle of the Yuan, so... Manchurian candidate, no. Support the new mandate. So we can't do that one, which sucks. So if you want to read about this one, please go ahead. Well, I guess there's nothing really to read there. That kind of sucks. You definitely gonna need some of that, son. And Trishman is seven. That's not bad. Cool Diviz. Trishman is zero. Our horses know how to dig holes, man. Uh, how do you want to do this stuff? The two Yeah, that's not bad. Simon Burma. Uh, attack this stuff. We get claims. I like the claims. Turkestan. That's not bad either. We do get the war claim against the Russian Republic and reclaim Persia. But let's do attack the Alash autonomy first. Just be. Oh boy. Just because we can. With our position in the east somewhat stabilized, we can move out onto the western steppes and emulate our forefathers by crushing the upset Kazakhs beneath our hooves. Ah, <sighs> good. Okay, so we're still at war. With whom? Okay, this is bugged. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna fix this off-screen real quick. Oh, Alright, everyone, so I kind of already gone ahead and said, you know what, Japan, we're gonna annex all of Korea. And I had the little event, and I'm like, you know what, we're still gonna annex Korea. Apparently we got this part of... Wait, what are we... We're the great, known as the Great Yuan. Oh, we're not no longer Mongolia, just Great Yuan. Barely we got this area too, because it was like Japan's territory and stuff. I guess they had Malaysia too, so I just kind of took it. I didn't want to give it anybody. Um, and I guess we got all this stuff too, so we got a lot of islands for some reason, but. And we also have t t t Taiwan, but it's okay. But we gotta talk about Malaysia. Can we do we want to release them? Our armies have managed to take control of Malaysia, and now it is occupied by us. We have a few options at this juncture. Should we do liberate them? No, we're kind of okay. Also, sorry about that. That was something in the background of my uh, house, you could say, right now. Oh, I dispersed. That's fine. No one's coming into my building. Totally not. In my room? No, totally not. And dispersed. Industry, thank you very much. We have 7 million manpower. Uh, Fate of Bhutan. We already took him out as well, because we're getting ready to go to war with Sijuan Clique as well. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, it's lagging super hard right now because... Oh, the French National State's gone. Usually they don't die until after Germany dies, but... After a successful campaign in the Himalayas, we now have the task to establish a new local administrative authority in order to restore peace. However, there are several options for choices. No. Fate of Sarawak. 
Northern Barton has been brought under our control as our troops occupy the region. We must now decide what to do with it. That took occupation all the way. And we losing stuff here? We'll do that. Fate of Sarawak. Did we just do this one? We literally just did this one. Why are you trying to hurt our peepee, son? So now let's go invade Sichuan. I'd love to invade Sichuan. I'd love for us to just go ahead and annihilate them completely. It looks like the game's lagging super hard, which is obviously not very good, but... Oh well, right, oh well. Um, probably Germany's probably dying if that... National French... Oh, no, never mind! Okay, so Austria is coming in. This is going so much better than last episode, like, holy crap. But we're also, okay, so when we became the Great Yuan after taking the mantle, we got the claim Macau finished immediately, like it was bypassed. The coastal city of Macau has been in foreign hands for far too long. We must take it as fast, which is for our own. And then we also have done a attack the Alash Autonomy, conquer Turkestan. It also bypassed, too, when I clicked on it. Turkestan remains free from our control, and the wealthy lands beyond remain but a distant dream. This shall not do so, and improve Urga roads. The land around Urga, Urga is spacious and well suited to our industrial aims, but lies barren with no ways for construction and materials and supplies to reach it. Expanding the road network will give us more space to build and increase our movement speed in the region. Expand the Trans-Mongolian. Soon after declared independence, we created our own connection to the famed Trans-Siberian Railway, the Trans-Mongolian, in order to better secure trade links to the outside world. Even though it has been a huge boon to our industry and country, it's no longer enough. It's time to take a step further and expand the railway into the rest of our territory. We get four more civvies and two or four more infrastructure. Which is great. Awesome, awesome. And more divisions. Oh, it's even better. And we do have some naval XP, which is really weird for us to say, but you know what? If we have to invade Japan again, we'll, we should be able to do it relatively easily. I was thinking about cutting down on our, like, making these guys 20 combos, but whatever. When you can, just go, please, go, 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 go. How many more days do we have to wait? Oh, two days. Literally two days. And then we'll take out... I want to wait to sh take out Shandong, maybe? How strong is the Shandong Chinese? A million manpower. Up to, oh, yeah. They're not going to do very well, hopefully, against us. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Any other upgrades? No? It's all right. Because this whole compliance thing, 62, 53% in Korea is just... That's just so good. How many divisions do they have? Not that many. So if that's the case, we're going to just go ahead and invade who next? Yunnan? Oh, that would be pretty difficult. I want Hunan next, but... You know what? We'll do these guys next. Do you guys actually have Hunan as a puppet? No, you don't. Why are they so independent? I don't like that. Just in case, just just find them too. Oh, we have a claim state. Oh, oh, oh that's so much nicer. Nice. Yeah. 56,000 of them have died so far, which is great, 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 great. Do that too. Oh, yeah, we don't need to import any more rubber. Holy crap. Thank you very much, Sijuan. Thank you. I was trying to get more refineries because I thought we needed it, but whatever. Oh, supplies going to be so bad down here. So god-awful. You know what? Go and do this first. This is probably going to be a bad idea. You non, we're fighting over rivers and mounts. Oh, my goodness. Uh, how much manpower do you have? <sighs> Way too much. And it's this in Shangtian. After hard fighting, we've at least subdu subdued this pathetic Shang Qing regime. The Khan is pleased with their victories that glorified his rule, made our beloved Mongolia much stronger and larger. There's much reward ourselves and soldiers here, including captured enemy supplies. How should we the new populace? And these resources be dealt with? Incorporated peacefully? Uh, we don't need that. Yeah. It's fine to do it like that. Um, we, do, we do lose stability, but we're going to lose stability anyway, so. Well, there goes American Union State. Oh, there goes Hunan Click as well. Nice. How are you not suffering from supply issues? 16 out of 17. I'm not going to question it. Well, the PSA and the CSA are fighting each other, I guess. Oh, well, actually, maybe they're... Yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck. They're fighting Mexico too, Yucatan. Sending the army, might as well get more weakly stability, because it's pretty bad right now, but whatever. Whatever. <coughs> Very nice. You're not even all the way down there yet. Holy crap. Well, someone should become a mountaineer here eventually, right? And then Hunan, then these guys, and then those guys. Oh, and these guys are killing each other too, which is kind of okay with us. Do we have... We are just flying on. So we don't need to do Hunan then. Because I kind of want to kind of do Burma, even though they're guaranteed by the Jap the Germans, even though Siam went to war them as well. Laos? Oh, the French probably got dang it. Oh, Hunan, you actually capitulate a lot faster than I thought you would. Let's go and do Hunan next. Oh, oh. There you go. Almost 10 million manpower. Never enough. Oh, there goes Vietnam. Goodbye, Vietnam. Goodbye. 
hope these guys win so we can take so the annex these guys and then we can take them out too and then these oh these guys are killing each other as well um, I'm gonna just kill these guys off first and they're both fighting each other that's awesome for us these guys are idiots they should just kill each other why are they killing each other off and they should kill me off but you know what that's their problem we're doing okay here we actually have a few extra planes huh beautiful wondrous We actually have somewhat of an air force. Now we're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And even though Austria came into the war, it's still not looking very good for them. Time Federation is still fighting. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. They're on a complete front war. Holy crap. Yeah, that's not good. Istanbul pack. We'll probably go to war with them as well. This is in their own alliance, not not the Entente. So expand the Trans-Mongolian. Develop the Tuvan region. During the Blue Revolution, Tuva and the West were almost most sympathetic to the revolutionary cause, with rumors claiming that its leaders were hiding therein. We should develop the region in order to keep the local populace content, at least for now. Follow it up with what? Oh, now we can develop Chinese industry. Cool. Oh, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Restore the eastern borders. Claim on all Russia states and trans -Mur. Nice. Going in, boys. And then we'll go to war with Shandong next. Shandingy dongy dunga. Mining things in Korea? Very cool. Oh my goodness, just overrunning them. Uh, hunt them down, boys. Hunt them down. Boys and girls. Hunt them all down. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see. 24, 44 cavalry divisions is not enough. We do have a ship. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Can we at least get some designs on them? Not yet. Okay, then. You know, let's make it 1v1. We'll, we'll fight Shandong last. My bad. Um, that's not bad still. We still need at least one milli going on at all times, so... Boom, boom. Good enough. Still making roads. Still doing pretty well with that stuff. And we'll take all this stuff. We won't give anything to Shandong. So. That'll be fine with us. Hey! Nice. Always welcoming in another division. Wait. Non-aggression. What, what are you doing? Why can't the non-aggression packs? Are we being too aggressive for you? Because China's looking pretty good right now. We're looking pretty darn good. What's Russia up to right now? Who are they by? Kolchak? No. Some guy I don't know. Tereshenko. Tereshenko. Cool. How about the Ukraine and Belarus? We need so much more anti-air though. It's not even funny. Cool. Get some more cast as well. Be awesome. How close is it becoming level five? Scale five level. That's not good enough. Some more light tanks, anyways. We just throw them on. Oh, we could throw them on divisions. Maybe not. We're not actually using these guys in the end. There goes some Mexican states. Oh, okay. So they actually gave up. They, they were pushing so hard into there. That's only going to help out the Italians, which or the uh, Austrians, which is fine with us. I want to go get this stuff too because it just gives us more soft attack, and I want as much soft attack as possible. There you go. Let's go in. How many divisions they got on the border? Just casually 15. And they completely ignored everyone else and everything else around them. Nanning is ours. Got some more uh, artillery and some sort of port equipment. Okay. Sorry, Shandong Click. You're not. You don't deserve anything here. You know you deserve all of it, actually. But whatever. Apologies for the clicking, but you know what? This here is going to be very good for us. A lot of resources for us. We will need to take out the other states too, but whatever. We'll get there in time. Yeah, get ready to go. Any other planes? Yes? No? No? Okay. Any more casts? Yes! Awesome. A truly Mongolian Air Force. We have so many guns. We just need more anti-air casts. It's almost 10 a day is pretty good, though. That's pretty darn good. So I have to develop the Tuba region. Yeah, we're going to develop the Chinese stuff. We we'll this one stuff last. Strike at the Cossacks? That'd be good. Strike at the Caucasus. Nice. Yeah, this has been a... F Fun campaign. Last episode, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sure you guys felt it too. It was okay. You know, I can't always be perfect in these episodes, but like, this episode, the first episode, I loved so much. It was so much fun. The last episode wasn't great. This one's pretty good. Like, 
Look at all China. We're looking pretty yummy, yummy, yummy in our tummy. Actually, should, actually you guys are a puppet of the French, so we can't really go to war with you all. Uh, we don't even have a board with you guys yet. Who is this? The German, why is the German Empire over here? Oh, they're still fighting each other, aren't they? Let's go, go, go. Oh, yes, please. Oh, there goes Belgium. Big old Belgium, boys. Yep, Germany's gonna die. As well as the Austrian Empire eventually, too, probably. How is Spain still in a civil war? It's 1941, for the love of God. How? So after this, we, like, as you see, we're, we're trying to mass produce, guys. Just get a claim state anyways. Get Just get it done. Bros, just go in. You can encircle them. Yay, three divisions. Oh, and they're dead. Nice. 51,000 have died already? It's not enough. Just in case, get some more war propaganda. Honestly? I don't want to go to the, war the Entente. Oh, uh, if we go to war with these guys... How many divisions I got? Not that many still. You know, with that little manpower, we actually might be able to do, be able to do very well, especially if we can get these divisions out very quickly. But it's all going to depend on anti-air. We got more enough guns and artillery and stuff like that. Who needs a mix-up when you just take stuff? A hundred, almost 200,000 have died because of us. Well, taking 2,500 casualties. This is, this is brutal. I love it. Let's make it more brutal. Oh, we can't force the attack, darn it. British Tunisia is gone as well. Another comment was, play as uh, Yaki as a constitutional American Republic. I would like to sometime. Yeah, let's play as Yaki sometime. It's been so long since I've actually played as y the Yakinator. <coughs> Vernudinsk. Very nice. Hangzhou? Hangzhou? Very nice. Ah, thank you, my friends. Thank you. Well, I guess we'll probably end this up to going to war with Russia. Is it a bad idea? You bet it is, especially as you leave a massive hole here. Completely open, but... Whatever. If we can move fast enough, which we probably won't be able to. But actually, we do have good... We took, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. We can probably take a lot of the territory and then, like, just just push as hard as we possibly can. Because these guys are running out of manpower. I'm not sure why they won't increase their conscription level. They're still on limited conscription. They literally just flipped to early mobilization, too. So, if we move fast enough, we can do pretty darn well on methinks. Almost 42. Grab some PPSHs, twos. Um, we're doing not bad on millies. We're at less than 500 needed. Nice. Awesome, 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 awesome. How many divisions do I have up here? Let's get an intelligence agency. That'd be probably very beneficial for us. Internal militia. Um, honestly, if you get a better name for an intelligence agency for Mongolia, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested in learning if you guys have something better for a name because the current one we have kind of sucks. Ah, actually, because you're sort of new-ish. Put three here. Something like that for now, maybe. 12 million manpower. Just It just keeps going up. It just gets bigger and better. Some more upgrades, too. How many of that stuff? We've not produced any of that stuff. God dang it. Alright, that's fine. Well, actually, probably enough of this stuff anyway, so... You can go up to 30 for now, but soon... Yeah, there you go. I do definitely want some towed rocket artillery. Because right now, in its current form, it's not great. 30 soft stack is not bad. But it, it could get so much better. It could get so much better. Ooh, prepare tungsten mines. You know what? We might as well do that, right? We don't really need more tungsten. Yeah, we definitely don't. But you know what? Let's take it anyways. Would we really be able to attack? Go with that for now. Anything else here? Um, and now, you guys come over here-ish. Because there are open holes here, which I do not like. So many open holes. Why are there so many open holes? Jesus Christ. Get these guys to move around first, and then we'll go to war. Vance Artie's nice. Grab some of this, too. We're going to improve anti-air, but we'll get done and out of that very soon. And we don't really need that. Destroy legation cities. We could do that, but... 
Oh, we still can't do this one yet either, huh? Oh, we know that territory. Restore the eastern borders. We must secure newly restored hegemony in the east by any means necessary, even if it means waging war against a mighty bear. Gives a claim on all Russian t states on, on Transmur. I mean, technically we already do, so I think we already do. I could be wrong about that, but after that one, uh, I'll probably do Kenty Seams. No, let's come over here and conscript the tribesmen. It's time to organize the bands of the ragtag tribesmen into a force worthy of the Great Khan. Even if they don't initially want to be part of a great army, surely a few months' experience in the wonders of our modern military will change their mind. Return militia. God, what a god awful name. Deck conversions? Get some big ships. We like them big. Nice. Alright then, seems like we're good to go. And we're going to end off at war just because I can do this off screen as well, so. There you go, boys and girls. See what we can do. I'm not going to move anything, guys, down here, so. Well, it started. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh, okay, so we got that one done immediately. What's this one? Because the tribesmen then. How are we doing? Are we doing okay here? Relatively okay ish for now. Obviously not perfect, but, like. By doing this, we're going to really just decimate the Russian manpower until they mobilize more. Just because. Even though we're not doing great. Um, they shouldn't be doing great either. For Shapshnikov. Well, I mean, it does help if you completely encircle them, so. The goal is to drain them of all their manpower, so. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Non aggression packs all around. But let's end with reading another focus, shall we? Uh, conscript the Conquer Peoples. With the military industry beginning to thrive, we now more than ever need additional manpower in our armies. The population of newly conquered lands will be more will now have the opportunity to demonstrate loyalty to the Mongol people. But hey, whoops. Uh, there was all my uh, console commands earlier for, like, tagging over and annexing stuff to see if I could actually give stuff to other people, but whatever. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we continue to expand into Russia. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.